Real quick before we start today's episode, I would like to congratulate my brother and his wife. Congratulations on your first child. Chase, I'm sure you're watching this in the hospital right now. I can't wait to take Landon on some fishing trips. Congratulations. Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today we are uh, going to be in Dexter, Kansas, uh, competing in a field trial. But before we jump into that, I wanted to give you an update on all of our travels. Um, if you guys saw my last videos, we traveled to North Dakota and got to spend some time with Sean Kinkler at his summer camp. And miss those videos I'll leave a link down in the description below you can go check them out after that we traveled even further north into North Dakota and went to Columbus North Dakota and it's only a couple miles away from the Canadian border so that was actually the furthest north I've ever been before and Kelly had a judging assignment there and uh, we got to spend some time there in Columbus while we were there Kelly probably captured one of the best sunset photos of her life so I had to share it it's pretty cool after that we went from Columbus down to Valentine Nebraska we set up shop at the local fairgrounds there for about a week after that we went to another judging assignment that Kelly had for about another week after that we ran home real quick just for a couple days and then we jumped back on the road again and head to Inola, Oklahoma. I'm ready whenever you are. I'm sorry if I watched this song. I know the word. Alright. Oh shit, look at that thing. While we were in Inola, we went to the oil capital field trial. But it was probably one of the worst field trials that I've ever been to before because the temperature was about 90 to 95 degrees. The dogs were really hot. The wind was blowing about 20 to 30 miles an hour and not a single dog the whole field trial found a bird. That's how bad it was. So. Not much to show here, other than dogs running around in a field, and that's about all it was. But um, they did a good job running around in the field and ended up getting some placements. Reason ended up getting a second in the amateur shooting dog. In the amateur shooting dog derby, Delta ended up getting second, and Neo, my dog, ended up getting third. I think Reason was pretty tired after I know her. But she got a lot of rest coming up because our next stop we ran up to uh, Elk City where we had another judging assignment. After we finished up here, we uh, moved on up, had a short drive to Eureka, Kansas, where Kelly had yet another judging assignment. She's really enjoyed judging this fall, as you can tell. And when we finished up there, we finally made it down to Dexter, Kansas, where we competed in the Wichita Bird Dog Club. So now that I got you guys all updated on our travels, let's get this video started and you guys can see how we did at Dexter. Okay, first up we have Trip. This is Neo's brother. Trip is a very large running dog. He uh, can really run the fields very well. But unfortunately, he did not find a bird in this race. So, when I'm filming, it's pretty hard to show a dog running big because it's hard to see on the GoPro. But um, he had a lot of fun, a lot of experience, and 
We still got a lot of training to do with him, but he's going to be a real nice dog one day. I'm up next and I'm handling Neo. It gets thinner if you get up there. Okay. To your whistle and sing to your dog and she'll go. And that's for the camera. I'm talking to you. Right there, mister. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to be on TV right now, let me tell you. I want to put it on Facebook. He's going to edit that, that out. We can't edit that one out. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, as you can tell, Kelly's getting a little frustrated. And so am I, actually, because the other handler uh, is calling his dog back a lot. And, unfortunately, Neo thinks it's me, and so she keeps coming to me and checking in and I'm trying to get her to push further away and kind of get away from this other guy but unfortunately um, the course is pretty limited and there's a lot of creek crossings and I didn't know where I was supposed to go like everyone didn't know where they were supposed to go so it, it's kind of a bad experience right here I would agree with that because that thing it doesn't make things. me feel very good. Neo really didn't need water right here, but I uh, decided to take a water break to try to get her collected and try to maybe let her know that we mean business here and 
get her ready to start running big. Um, and at, in the AKC, the scout is allowed to uh, handle for you uh, while you're getting back on your horse until you get up there. So that's what Kelly's doing right here. Oh. Hey, hey. All right, babe. Neo. Hey, you. All right, babe. Hey, you get out of that. Hi, buddy. Sorry. Whistle, sing. just dropped one. Oh, it dropped a quail right up there. And we was gonna go pick it up. <laughs> that hawk dropped me a present. There's a, the hawk just dropped a bird in there. Get her out, Clayton, get her out. It's a, it's a dead bird, she doesn't need to find that. Get, go, go, careful. Look at there's frickin' hawks. Okay guys, that was a really tough brace for Neo and I. As you could tell, um, there was tons of creek crossings. I think there was about six of them total. And you had to gather your dog up and cross at certain points because it was pretty steep for the horses to get across. And it was actually pretty steep for the dogs to get across, so that was fun. And then we didn't know where we were going. Actually, no one really knew except for the marshal. And so they kept having to yell at me and tell me where to go. And wasn't really sure where to take Neo and put her down lines and stuff. But And then you also saw the hawk scenario play out, which was unfortunate. And she you know, was messing around with that dead bird and decided to play hard of hearing at that point. The course was also very thick. I know it doesn't really look like it too much on the GoPro, but there's areas that were pretty thick, pretty tall grass, and she was really really buried down in it and hard to see. We've been out in the Sand Hills in Nebraska, so this is kind of new country to her, actually. We haven't really had her on trees and thick grass and, you know, taking lines and stuff, so... We have to chalk this one up to a uh, good experience. I wish she would have pointed that bird better because uh, we've really been working on that. But she uh, was running pretty fast and just nosed it up. It is what it is. Um, we're getting her ready for Boonville, Arkansas, where there's going to be a lot more obstacles, a lot more trees, a lot more lines to take. So this is all really good for her to see, and we'll chalk it up to a good training experience. Um, but... I got a little frustrated, but that's how it goes sometimes. It, it is what it is. Next up, we have a dog named Delta.
Tom Point over there. Okay, so the pointer went on point right here, and Delta is backing, and she is located right here, and the pointer is over here. Let's see what happens. So the pointer is getting ready to get relocated, and for those of you that don't know when that happens, uh, the dog that is backing, you're allowed to grab their collar while the relocation happens, whoa, whoa. and then the dog whoa, whoa, whoa. nosed up a bird right there and decided to chase it a little bit. Relocating a dog can be a very difficult situation because the dog is moving and smelling and then can hit the bird pretty quick. So even for a pup, that's a that's a hard scenario. I didn't start my watch. Good job. She was good. Yeah, especially when Justin grabbed her. Are we going? Perfect. Awesome. Let me get on my horse. Side note, this is kind of a weird scenario, but make sure both handlers are ready with their dogs and the handlers on their horse before you take off. It's just kind of a common courtesy. Once again, we have another fence to go through, which is a choke point, and there's also cows in the way, so we have to hurry up and get through this with the dogs. The other handler did nothing wrong here because he didn't see our dog on point, but make sure to never blow your whistle when another dog's on point. Essentially what that whistle is doing is trying to call them off their point, so watch out for that. Delta's on the back side of the tree right there.
that a cow? There's a dead cow sitting in the pond right there. Needless to say, we did not stop and water our dogs right there. If you ever compete at Dexter, Kansas, make sure your horses have shoes on them. This is probably one of the rockiest field trials I've ever been to, and my horse absolutely hated all these rocks. The pointer's way over there standing, and they work it for quite a while at time, but there was no bird there. Derby placement. Third place is red. Justin Crook. Second place is Delta. Kelly Aiken. Congratulations. First place is Matt. Jim Portman. Bring your dogs up here and get a picture of them. Justin, bring your shooting dog up here too. We're going to set up a picture in front of the barn. Way to cheat it out, sir. I saw that. You look good. Reason. Reason. Okay, we finished up here at Dexter with Delta getting a second place. We only ran our derby dogs here at Dexter because that's all that needed to run. And then we finished up here and then we jumped over to Grove Springs, Missouri. Kelly had yet another judging assignment here and this was the first place I could not get cell internet service so I could work in the trailer so I had to travel to Lebanon every day with the truck and trailer and I set up shop in a like strip mall parking lot that had a tractor supply. I used my generator and worked in the parking lot every day that week. And then we jump down to uh, Boonville where I will pick up in the next video where we beat Irish Setter National. So stay tuned for that. So real quick I wanted to shout out this website called RV Parky. It really helps us with all of our traveling trips and you know being on the road so much. From what I can gather we traveled for over 50 hours and a total of over 3,000 miles on this trip that I just gave you guys an update on. Please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like the video and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Like I said, we're heading to Boonville for the Irish Center National. I have a lot of footage there. We do a lot of winning, so you guys don't want to mess this. I'll see you guys on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors, keep hunting.